Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rucha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So I just want to do uh, just a quick testimony, um, a video, um, a, a dream that was uh, shared to me uh, you know, by my, uh, by my wife. Um, this uh, dream happened, I want to say, about two days ago. <clears throat> she, um, she was saying how she had woke up in the middle, middle of the night um, and like sometimes she gets like uh, she gets like bouts of like anxiety. So like, she woke up in the middle of the night and um, she went out out to the living room. And I felt her like when she woke up, but like I didn't really think of it. I thought, the, she, thought she was just going to the bathroom. But um, she went out to the living room and she said that like, she couldn't really go back to sleep. So she, um, you know, I think she said she went uh, to the bathroom or went to go get some water or something like that. And um, she came back into the bed, but she couldn't go back to sleep. And, you know, um, you know, we've only been, you know, dealing with each other for about like a year. So, you know, I've been teaching her, you know, certain things about, you know, the scriptures and, uh, you know, the name of the Lord mainly and the name of the son and the name of Yahweh Shai. So she um, she said when she was like laying back down that uh, it's, it's like it's because it's like real hard for her, real hard for her to go back to sleep when, when she has anxiety. So she um, started just like to say she started to pray. And when she was praying that she, you know, actually used the, uh, the name of the Lord. Uh, the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, while she was praying. And when she was doing that, she like, she fell asleep. So when she fell asleep, you know, she, um, she woke up, I guess she said like between like, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, and she realized that she fell asleep and like she was excited because like I said, like it's hard for her to go right back to sleep, you know, when she's like having, having those anxiety moments. So she um, woke up. And then she uh, went back to sleep and she, started, she said she started to pray again because she didn't like, she was surprised that she was able to fall asleep so fast when she, um, when she like was praying. So she woke back up and she started to, uh, you know, pray again. And she was using the, the name of the Lord because usually she says that she just says God or uh, um, El Dios, uh, uh, El Dios because, you know, she's a northern tribe. But um, she actually used the name, the Heavenly Father's true name, which is Yahweh. So she fell asleep the second time. And when she fell asleep the second time, she had a, a vision. And in her vision, she basically said that like, like stuff like that, stuff like everything that was going on right now in this world, in the world, it was progressed, you know, and it was worse. You know, things were, you know, uh, more shutdowns, you know, uh, uh, you know, all the restrictions. All right. Uh, all this stuff, everything that's happening right now, it was just amplified. And it was uh, worse to the point where people, you know, uh, in the world and like and, and, and her friends, everybody wasn't, you know, in the mindset of things possibly going back to normal. At this point, people realize that, you know, that the way of life has completely shifted. All right. And a lot of people, they weren't, she said, she said a lot of people, they were trying to, and this is what the word she said, which, you know, when, when I, when she said this, I was like, yeah, that's definitely a spirit. She said a lot of people were, were trying to learn the ways of, of of the Israelites, okay. And I, uh, she was like they were trying to learn, you know, uh, the, the the information that the Israelites were uh, was talking about because everything that we were talking about, they were actually living it at this moment. You know, she was like a lot of people they weren't you know talking anymore. You know, a lot of people were. She said like a lot of her friends were like really like real quiet when it came to like their opinions and things and things of that uh, you know things of that nature. And she was like in her dream, you know, she said she got mad, <laughs> said she got mad in her dream because she realized that everybody was was, uh, you know, trying to trying to be right or trying to be righteous. According to the, uh, the what she kept saying, according to what the Israelites were saying, which really we're speaking the words of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. OK, uh, the, these are the words of, of Yahweh. All right. This is not according to what we are saying. This is according to what the Lord, you know, does say if Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. But, you know, um, she kept saying that, 
like I said, because she's not really too familiar, you know, with the whole the, the the doctrine and the knowledge and things like that. But nonetheless, she's like in her dream, she was getting mad because she was seeing people were trying to get right only because they were they were in they were in it. You know, what I mean, it, it wasn't no, you know, this it wasn't no this is about to happen or, you know, things are going to get worse or, you know, how we say now. No, they were we were actually in her dream. We were we people were living the worst case scenario. People were living the 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 tribulation, the 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 anguish, the the you know the pain, the sufferings. They were the the afflictions. They were living all that, and she was like to her friends. You know, her, her friends was like basically like asking her you know questions about things and and how to and what they're supposed to do. And she was just bait. Like I said, she was getting mad because she was seeing people were only doing that. Only because they were like, only because they were, she was said, only because they, they knew that they were in the end of the world. All right. It wasn't a matter of what if, or maybe a couple years later, or things could bounce back. No, it was, they were in the end of the world. All right. So she was getting mad at them because she realized that y'all were only doing this because now y'all trying to like get saved. You know, now y'all trying to get right when, you know, uh, they was making fun of her. Because like a couple like a couple months ago, she she decided to stop you know uh, doing hookah and like and you know you know things like that. They, these these like Jake's you know men and women like to do all this world, but you know she she decided to stop doing that. She stopped, she decided to stop eating like bottom feeders, and they were making fun of her back in you know a couple like a couple months ago. So she like like I said, she was getting mad at her dream because they were, she was saying like y'all was making fun of me for like trying to do right. Um, while while things were while things weren't you know really crazy, but here it is now. Y'all trying to get right when they, when, when you see what's going on, you know when you see the actual hell you know approaching. So you know um, that's basically the dream. And then I woke up. I mean, when she told me it, I was just thinking about how you know we are rapidly approaching the end. You know, and the scriptures talks about how you know these people when that when that when that uh, whirlwind comes, when that hell comes, and I just pull that out. You know, people are going to try to you know. Uh, they gonna try to get into the ark once the rain drops, you know? Just like how with, you know, Noah, he was prophesying and, and what they said, the scripture says that they were eating and drinking and giving it to marriage until the day that the flood came and uh, destroyed them all, you know? And that's how, you know, the masses of the people are gonna be. They're not going to get right until they're they're in the midst of the wrong, okay? They're not gonna try to do, do uh, righteousness until they are consumed all about them with with the evil, all right. And as the scripture says that that the wicked was, um, let me see if I can put that up real quick. Proverbs chapter sixteen verse four. It says, "The Lord Yahweh has made all things for Himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil." All right. So the wicked people out here, they were made, they were created for this day of evil that is a, that is coming, man. All right. In the book of uh, let's get that too. In the book of Ezekiel. Um. Book of Ezekiel, chapter seven, chapter seven, verse uh, start at five. It says, "Thus saith Yahweh, power and evil, and only evil. Behold, it's come, and end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come." So, as we see in everything that is going on, as we see in you know uh, uh, this devil coming down with that wrath. All right, uh, uh, we're seeing these restrictions, we're seeing the economy, you know, faltering and, and, and basically on its last leg. All right, we're hearing about the wars and rumors of wars. All right, we're seeing, you know, the tensions in, uh, of, the, of the nations, okay, the uprisings of the people, all right, the seditions among men, all right, not, not, not uh, uh, you know, uh, not caring about their kings or princes, but the course of the action standing in their power. All right, we're seeing a, a man show, you know, desire to go to a city and not, that should not be able to. We're seeing the famines, you know, all these things are end time prophecies. All these things, as Jehovah Shai said, you know, all, all these things are going to come to pass before he returns. So as we are seeing all these things, the Lord never said that these things are going to happen and, and they're going, they were going to stop and things were going to get back to normal. No, he said that all these things were going to happen. And these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. The beginning of a sorrow, which means that we're in where every day, every second, Every minute that passes by, we're getting closer and closer to more sorrow. We're getting closer and closer to more pain. We're getting closer and closer to the point where people, as in her dream, they're going to be seeking the ways of righteousness. They're going to be seeking what to do to, in order to survive the, the, the moment, the situations that they're in. All right. Because right now, people are not, 
Yeah, even though they're seeing life is shifting, even though they're seeing things are, are not as they used to be, because it's happening in their minds, because it's happening steady and, 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 and you know, a couple of things changing here and then a couple of things changing here, gradualism, people are not really, uh, people can't see the bigger picture. You know, they can't see afar off as the watchmen of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the true prophets of Yashavala are able to see, all right, which the Lord has blessed us with, the ability to see afar off. So yeah, we see what is we see what has happened, we see what is happening, and we can see what is about to happen, what all these things are leading up into. So when it actually hits, that's when people are going to realize that what we have been saying have been and always has been the truth. All right, and, and I'll get this in the book of Proverbs, chapter one, verse twenty um three. It says, I'm gonna start at twenty two. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my I will make known my words unto you. And how has Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has made his words known unto uh the the uh the world and right, specifically uh Israel is by way of the prophet. All right, let's get that. Just to back it up. Jeremiah twenty uh, Jeremiah seven verse uh, twenty five. It says, since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, have I sent unto you all of my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet ye hearken not unto me, nor incline that their ear. Yet, so like yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their, than their fathers. Therefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them. But they will not hearken to thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. Yep, and that's no, that's really what has been going on. All right, for the for the majority of Israel, of course, the elect has uh, heard. All right, the ones who have uh, uh, of the elect has, has heard and has repented throughout the four corners of earth. You know, uh, uh, you know, we have hearkened to the voice of the Lord, but the majority of Israel has not hearkened. So when, when so as we go back into Proverbs, it's going to tell you. What's the what's the uh, reward for not for not listening? All right. It says, because I have called and ye have refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth. But ye have set at naught all of my counsel and with none of my reproof. That's right. You know, all of the counsel, as Paul said, we have not shunned to declare all of the counsel of the Lord unto you. And, and, and you know, uh, all of the prophets, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. This is what we have been doing. All right. Starting with the uh, our elders, the apostles of great millstone on them. We have not shunned to declare the gospel unto you, the things that maketh a man righteous, all right? Pursuant to second address, I believe the fifth chapter, the words, the wisdom that maketh a man righteous, we have we have declared that unto the, the world, all right? Specifically unto the nation of Israel, because that's who it's meant for. But they have what? They have none of his, of, uh, uh, they have said at naught the, the, all of the Lord's counsel. So verse 26, it says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right. And that's what was happening in her dream because of because they seen the hell because they were living in the in the stress, in the distress, in the calamity, in the, in the destruction. That's when they wanted to seek the Lord. But the Lord said what? They shall not find me. And a lot of her friends, you know, they claim to be, uh, uh, you know, people that believe in God and, you know, people that, you know, think that they're right, you know, think that they're nice people and just people. But she has no, you know, because this truth is very powerful. And whether, you know, uh, uh, you whether you want to or not, if you are, if you are, uh, um, what's the word? If you are, are around this truth long enough for the lack of a better words you know you're you're going to end up having conversations about this okay because understanding that this is this is from the from the heavens man this is from the creator this his this is his words so no matter what you know unless you completely try to avoid it which is why as Jehovah I said a lot of people uh they would separate themselves you know from you from for his namesake unless you're completely avoiding this if you're around somebody constantly that is, you know, uh, uh, in this mindset or, or somebody that's trying to do right there, this is going to, this is going to be a topic of a subject one way or, or another. All right. 
So, in her, and once again, in, in, in her dream, she knew that she has told her friends about this and, and talked about this, and they have scorned her. They laughed at her. You know, they told her that she's being brainwashed, you know, by me. Okay, they, they said all these things. Oh, you, you're not the same. You're changing X, Y, and Z. But in her dream, they wasn't saying that same, they wasn't saying that having that same tune. In her dream, they were trying to find out what they need to do in order to get right. They were trying to find out the, the, the ways of, as she said in her dream, they were trying to inquire the, the ways of the Israelites. Because at the end of the day, the ways of the Israelites, the sons of the power, are going to be the ways that is going to determine your salvation or your destruction. All right. And, and we, like I said, once again, that's only for the for Israel. But people are going to Lord is going to make manifest. Actually, let me get that. He's going to make manifest the fact that his word is is salvation. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of uh, uh, before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. That's right. And who was the righteous man? Okay, the, the starting with the, the 144,000, the prophets. All right, and then the rest of the men, women, and children that have, uh, uh, you know, made their bodies a living sacrifice, that have followed the Lamb, whether it's wherever he goeth, that have taken up their cross and followed Yahweh Shah. Okay, those people, all right, are going to stand in great boldness. And at what time? When, it, when is the boldness of, uh, well, we're doing it now, but when is it going to be manifested to the point where nobody is going to be able to say anything? As it is written in 2nd Edges, the 16th chapter, then shall my chosen be known. All right. When all hell is breaking loose, that's when the chosen are going to be made known by the world. You read it on, it says verse two, when they shall see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they have looked for. Okay. And, and even before the chariots, you know, uh, deliver us out of this uh, second death, we're going to stand it. We're going to, they're going to see the strangeness of our salvation, the spiritual power. All right. The, 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 the ability to be able to chase uh, one of us being able to chase a thousand troops, the ability of us having, uh, uh, being able to disappear and reappear, being able to fly, being able to be, uh, uh, not being injured by, you know, a, a weapon. Okay. Whether it be a gun or a sword or things like that, like how in the book of Eli, that's going to be strange to these people, man, because that's not something that they nobody has ever witnessed in this life. All right. Verse three, it says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirits. And that's how, you know, that's what in her dream, that's what people were doing. They were anguished. All right. The, 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 their spirits were vexed and they were howling of vexation. And that's when they were trying to repent. All right. She'll say within themselves, this is this was he. Whom we had sometimes in derision and a pro in a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life as madness and his end to be without honor. All right. And that's how they see us, man. Understand that that's how these people see us, because what we're talking about is getting right in a time where they don't see the, the, the benefit of getting right. But as she said in her dream, things were like this, but it was much worse. You, we were in a it's like you go into a pool. You know, you go into the shallow end and then you keep walking and that's what's happening. All right. We're, we are we started in the shadow and the shallow end. But we are always, you know, the, the world time is moving forward. So every step you're taking, whether you can undersee it or not, whether you feel it or not, you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into that uh, into that muck. All right. Deeper and deeper until until that, you know, uh, until the pool to the point where eventually it's going to overtake you. Eventually, you're going to be underwater. And at that point, if you don't know how to swim, if you wasn't preparing yourself while you was in the shallow end, you're not going to survive the deep end. You're not going to survive when you are, you're in the end where it's uh, 20 feet down. You see? And if you don't know how to swim, <laughs> and then you're going to, then you bound, you bound to drown. All right? And that's why it says here, um, how, he, how is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot is among the saints. Therefore, we have erred from the way of truth and from the light of righteousness have not shined in the light of righteousness has not shined uh, unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yeah, we have gone through deserts 
where there, where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What has pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us? Okay. And that's, that's what people, when, when, this, when, when, when we get to the point of, of no more of us having to prophesy, when we get to the point of you're living what we, what we have been saying, what Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah has been saying through us, this is the mindset that people are going to have. Okay. This is when pride is going to be taken out of this world. All right. As it is written in the second address, because they have walked in great pride, many great miseries shall begin to uh, fall upon them in the latter days because they have walked in great pride. These are the times where people are going to this. These miseries that are going to overtake people are going to compound so much that they're going to seek the ways of the Israelites. All right. They're going to seek righteousness. They're going to seek how to survive the, 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 the things that they're going th that they're that they're going through. You know, they're petty vanities of, of you know, uh, social media and, 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 you know, whatever things that people are consumed with the cares of this life now, all that is going to be a shadow in the wind, man. All that is going to be taken completely out of their minds. And the only thing people are going to want to do, only thing people are going to want to inquire in day after day until they either get destroyed, <laughs> right, or, or until... Uh, uh, you know, they, you know, the Lord maybe have mercy upon them. I'm talking about the Israelites. Only thing that they're going to be, in, uh, uh, you know, desiring to do in that day is seek righteousness, is seek ways of deliverance. Okay. And that's why in her dream she was getting mad because she said that it, you're only doing this now because of the hell that you're catching. But that's how people are going to act, man. And we always, we always say that, man. People, as the scripture says, that people shall be willing in the day of thy power. All right. So let me get this uh, last scripture. Um, hey, you know, another part in a dream, because she has said that, like they were saying to her, well, um, well, who says, how do you know you're going to be saved? You know, because she because she said I wasn't even in the dream with her. And she said, that, how do you know you're going to be saved? And she said, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be saved. I might get destroyed, too, because in her dream, she was like, I haven't done everything that I could have done. But she said, I, at least I tried to do some things based off of faith, you know, in her dreams. Like, like I said before, she stopped eating, you know, vinyl feeders and she stopped smoking hookah, you know, uh, things like that. So in, in her dreams, she was saying, I tried to do some things while while the shit didn't hit the fan yet. Y'all are only doing these things because now you're, you're, you're seeing the end of the world. Now you're living the end of the world. So I get this Ezekiel 33 verse. Um, I start at, I just go straight to 33. It says, and when this shall come to pass, and what is this that's going to come to pass? All of the hell that, you know, we have been prophesying, all right? All these things are going to come to pass, man, whether you believe it or not. It says, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them, all right? And that's what this world is going to soon, is about to soon find out, man, that the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, has, since, since the beginning of the world, has always sent out his prophets, all right? And they are for a sign, okay? And once all these things happen, then you're going to know that a prophet have been among you. Prophets have been among you. But at that point, it's going to be too late. If you have not seek the Lord while he may be found, the Lord said what? That back in Proverbs, that you're going to call upon him, but you shall not, but he shall not answer. All right? Um, let me go back to that. Uh, Proverbs 1 verse um, 29 says for they that hated knowledge and did and did not choose the fear of the Lord they would none of my counsel they despise all my reproof therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and and be filled with their own devices okay so hey you know with that Lord willing this was edifying unto the elect call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakaq Dash we're coming into those times man they stay strong stay diligent and stay watching all right Shalom